Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your month ahead reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. I hope you're doing well. This can be for your sun, moon, and rising, okay? If you are a Western astrology Aquarius, or you could be in Siberial, whichever one, as long as it's resonating for you, okay? So let's see what is going on for Aquarius and love. All right, Aquarius, let's get a good shuffle in. Two and one. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. Try to adjust this a little bit so you guys can actually see the uh, cards. You guys can see my candles over there if you guys want to get some of these candles. I did restock. Um, so if you're interested in getting a, some of my candles, they come fixed with herbs and all that good stuff. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands, okay? Some of you guys, I mean, if you're meeting someone new at this time, Aquarius, if you're looking for a new love, like you could be meeting a Taurus or an Aries at this time. Um, it's gonna feel like you've always known this person though with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. It's gonna feel like you guys maybe knew each other in a past life but didn't finish it, finish it out. Like, you know, maybe there was a cliffhanger to your relationship in some way. We have the Page of Pentacles. So this person could be a Capricorn as well. So. What I am getting here off the bat is if it is a new person, I feel like this person will match your energy. I feel like they will be willing to put in the work into the connection to make it work. It's not going to just be um, you doing all the work. But for a lot of you, this isn't a new person. I feel like this is someone who wants a new start with you, a fresh start. Um, this is someone that I feel with the Seven of Pentacles you would like to be with. There's history here. There's already investment in this connection. I don't think this is someone that you're not interested in. So a highly getting it could be an earth sign. Definitely Capricorn, Taurus, or Aries. Okay. I'll put out the rest of you cards, you guys' cards. I'm gonna put some oracles for you guys really quick. So we have the fool. So this person could be um leaving a, a relationship. And you know, maybe I just get the energy that they want a fresh start because something didn't work out with you two in the past. So um I don't think this is an ex necessarily. This could be someone that was like keeping things friends with benefits with you guys or they may have been in an, another relationship and they were trying to have like a third party situation with you okay maybe you left this person in the past you moved on they're coming back around to try to start a new relationship and it's not even necessarily that they want forgiveness about what happened in the past or they they, they all, this is like someone who doesn't want to really rehash the past this is somebody who wants to just start new we have orbiting so if you're not talking to this person right now you will be talking to them soon this person is orbiting your energy you may be feeling this person intuitively or you might be um thinking about this person a lot you're probably like why am I thinking about this person and it's because they're orbiting you they're probably watching your social media you know keeping tabs on you this is somebody that even if you did disconnected with them Aquarius they never moved on okay I don't feel like they moved on yeah we have I have something to say this card is I have something to say I know you guys can't read the print but it's right here uh so this person has something to say to you they have so much things to say right now that song's been coming out in my head they have so much so maybe this person's a gemini or a taurus because uh lauren hill's a gemini in western astrology clarify the seven of pentacles please we have the empress yeah this is somebody who sees you as marriage material i feel like it's taken a while to get to this point with this person though like i don't know the queen of swords is coming out of aquarius so you probably had to cut this person off or you had to go cold on them you had to detach from them um I feel like some of you guys may think this relationship is over and done, but it's not. Like, this is somebody who's like, nah, it's not done. I, ne I actually never moved on from you. And you're like, this. you're like, they're not, you probably think this person's not even thinking about you or they've left and moved on. They haven't. Wow. The queen of pentacles. I'm telling you, this person could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I was getting a bunch of earth energy. Um, some of you guys have a heavy earth sign coming in. Okay. This could be a new earth sign or it's an earth sign that you've already connected with or an Aries, maybe a Sag Leo. Yeah. This person's trying to step correct to you, Aquarius. They're really trying to bring in good energy. Like even if they were, you know, difficult in the past, I'm not going to say it was all sunshine and rainbows, but the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, they're willing to wine and dine you. Um, with this card here, this is definitely someone who is courting you or dating you with the intention of marriage. 
So if you are meeting someone new at this time, Aquarius, they are looking at this as marriage material. If you are reconnecting with somebody from the past, they are looking at this as a marriage situation. Like they're trying to make this go the distance, especially with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. She's going the distance. She's going for speed. She's all alone, all alone, all alone in a time of need. Some of you guys may know who Cake is. It's a band called Cake and the song The Distance just came to my head. So um, maybe that will resonate for some of you out there. Not a lot of people listen to Cake, but I do. So yeah, your other card is the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's been missing you. This person's been missing you or they've been missing love in their life and they're really wanting love. They're really wanting a real relationship, something stable. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So for this five of pentacles to come out, this is most likely someone who's who's already connected with your energy. It could be a co-worker for some of you. I just don't feel like you actually had a full on relationship with this person yet. Like for some reason, yep, three, three of cups. I, I was getting that. Like there could have been a third party involved. Some of you, they could have been with a fire sign and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles here. Um, there was some sort of third party energy that was keeping you two apart from each other, Aquarius. So just know that if you thought it was over with somebody, if you, you know, thought you like somebody moved on and they're not thinking about you anymore, they definitely have something to say to you and they definitely have been orbiting you. Okay, meaning they've been watching your social media or they've been kind of hanging around to maybe wait until the right time or when they were single because they, like I said, they might have been in a relationship. For some of you, you might not have been single. Like maybe this was somebody who's been waiting intently for you to get single, for you to break up with somebody to make their move. But definitely have a strong love offer coming in. This person wants love. They're ready for love. They're open. They're willing to put the effort in, the time in, take you out on dates, buy you gifts, show you that you are important to them. Some of you, this person is coming in with the idea of having a child. Like this person really wants a daughter if that's something you're interested in. Um, they don't really care, but I do see the page of pentacles, which is a girl child, but they are really trying, like some of you, this person may want to have a child, definitely with these ace, the ace of wands and the page here. So um, I'm not saying that this is what they're going to get from you, Aquarius. I'm just saying that this is the intentions of the person coming in. So the month ahead looks like an energy of somebody courting you. Um, or if they literally don't come in this month, you just know that this person's energy is around you and they are planning on coming in. Um, they could be blocked. I just heard that intuitively. So if you know you block someone, uh, then, you know, th that's the person that I'm talking about. Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get into the extended. We're going to look at this person's next actions towards you, which I kind of already told you, but I want to get more specifics. Um, we're also going to be looking at their true feelings for you. What's going to happen in the relationship. We're also going to look at if anything is hidden from you in this relationship, like what you may not know about this connection. And then we're also going to look at the next month after this one. OK, so the month ahead, which usually would be September, but I'm trying to stop timing my reading. So if you are interested in that, you can check that out in the description box. There is an extended. There's also an 18 plus extended for you guys down there. If you are interested in that as well, Aquarius, it's already done. If you're on my Patreon, you've already had access to it. All the 18 plus stuff is on my Patreon. OK, so I'll see you guys in the extended Aquarius. Hopefully you guys follow me over there. I appreciate the love so much. Make sure you comment and like these videos and share. It really helps you guys um, get, get done first. And you guys are one of the first uh, signs that I did. Okay. So I'll see you in the extended Aquarius. Love you. Bye.